Hey guys, we're back with a new tutorial from Sites Matters. Hello guys, this is Fred. This is Ivan. So let's get into it. Today's topic is uh, what we do on uh, our drum group, which is the processing we apply when we have a drum group. You can see our chain, it's already here. We are starting from uh, the free claps from the last tutorial and we added some uh, toms and we added a snare as you can hear. So, say you are done with your mixing, you're happy with uh, all the levels from the different channels and now you just want to give more unity and more presence to the whole drum mix. This is what you do on a, a drum group. You don't do any correction, you just make sure that the whole mixing is even better than it was with the starting point. So, let's see. As first, we like to use an EQ just to make sure that uh, there's no frequency below 100 Hz, more or less. Yeah, more or less, 100 Hz, 100, 120. Yeah, and in this way you are ensure that the kick and the sub bass will have no interference for the drum group. And uh, if you want, you can even give a little boost around uh, 10 kilohertz just to give some extra crispiness and to give some uh, brilliance in your mix. But just don't overdo, do it only if it's needed. So next and maybe the most important element on a drum group is the glue compressor. We prefer to use the glue compressor because it has a sort of analog feel when compared to the other compressor. Uh, and it's uh, super useful uh, in this case. You can make your own per set. Uh, the most important thing is to play with the threshold. So you just put it at maximum, then you go down and you hear when it starts to work. You see, uh, the glue, comp glue compressor should only do a little work. It's not a heavy compressor, the one we're applying. Use attack and release on uh, the level show here because you don't really want to mess up with the transient of your mix. It's all defined in its channel. You just want to have some unity and this is why you use blue compressor. So next step to us is uh, to put a precise dry wet uh, component because it's like a parallel compression. You go with a full compression and then you decide which is the right level to apply to your drum mix. Next in the chain, you find the reverb. Uh, most importantly, as uh, in the others uh, channel, remember to don't overdo on drums because drums must stay clean, must stay precise and tight in order to have uh, a good mix. So, uh, first of all, set the decay time uh, around uh, half second, so you're sure that from a beat to another, reverb won't interfere, and uh, then, Use the dry wet, we recommend settings which are under 20%. We use uh, typically 10 to 15% uh, in our mixes. Uh, but uh, once more, trust your ear, trust uh, what uh, you are hearing and decide wisely. Last but not least, you can decide to use a saturator. First of all, we have to understand that it is uh, not always the case to go to use a saturator. You just have to hear and understand if you need a saturator. For example, you can decide to bounce your uh, EQing in the high section and not use a saturator. You can decide to keep it uh, lean and use a saturator, or you can decide to not even apply both of those treatments. Anyway, saturator, as you hear, gives you a crispier sound, which is more aggressive. Generally use soft sign preset because uh, it's um, the softer one and it's not really hard as many other presets could be. Of course, and uh, you have to uh, know that the saturator is used if you have a classic house uh, loop, all right? If you made a classic house loop to bring out, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the lowest sounds that is maybe the snare or your tom, all right? And saturator takes these low frequencies from one kilohertz to four or five and bring them out so you can hear it like in this track if you listen you 
without separator you hear the snare and the tom but if you turn on the separator they are more present so maybe in tracks that uh, have the house feeling yeah. you can maybe use a separator to bring out this snare or this tom so you can um, have space and you can listen to that and you can uh, use the other space for the bass or for your sample lead so you can have all this uh, chain yeah. right this drum drum group chain so i can rename it like drum group for friends <laughs> and this is yours we will give you a free download so can you you can use it you can try everything and yeah just the, check the want. description down you're gonna find uh, of course uh, the, a link to download this precept this is all so see you next time guys and thank you so much <laughs> don't forget to support us <laughs> see ya